Hello. Uh, in this video, we're going to be talking about how to put together a dashboard in Tableau. Uh, now, thankfully, Tableau is basically designed to make dashboards, so it makes it very easy. Uh, so it's not, this might not be, even be a particularly long video. Uh, so we're going to assume that we already have gone through uh, what makes a dashboard look good. That was the last video. We also have some idea of how to create visualizations in Tableau. That's a couple of videos ago. Uh, and we're going to say we already have a worksheet ready to go with a couple of visualizations in there and we want to make it into a dashboard. Uh, so if we're in Tableau, super easy to create a dashboard. All we have to do is either go down to the bottom here uh, and click the new dashboard button, which is the one I'm hovering over with the little four panes, or we can go to dashboard, click new dashboard. Uh, so when we do that, we're going to get a couple of options here. So what we have over here on the right is sort of a big blank space. And what that blank space is going to be is it's going to be where we're going to build our dashboard. We're going to drag the individual visualizations we've made on the individual sheets onto this area, and it will become part of the dashboard. Uh, over here on the left, we have a couple of other things. Uh, we have some, we can add text, we can add images, uh, all sorts of other stuff. We can have an, a little web page. Uh, we can also uh, change the layout. So we can change the layout here uh, by uh, thinking about, well, do we want a default? We want it to be on a phone. Uh, you can change the, the layout so that it's on a phone, uh, which will make sure that we are limiting ourselves in the ways that are going to make sense on a small screen. Uh, we can also go back to the default. There are many different kinds of layouts that you can select. Uh, you can go for desktop browser size. You can go for um, you know, uh, tablet uh, smaller, you can go for PowerPoint, lots of different uh, formats that you can, that you can aim for. So you want to think beforehand, where do you want this to go? Uh, if you want this to go you know, on a website, you might want something that's going to be able to be read on a phone. Uh, if you want something that's going to be in a report that's going to be sent out, then probably something for designed for a computer screen is going to be okay. And it will have an effect on how you lay things out, right? There's only so much space on a phone screen. You don't want to shrink everything down small. You'd rather make everything as big as it possibly can be so that it can be read. So we have our layout. Uh, we also have our sheets. We can just drag sheets onto our space. And as I drag them, you can see that I can choose sort of how it gets put in next to. Uh, it will naturally snap to a grid formation so things are not overlapping. That's probably what you want to stick with. Uh, grid is good to go with. So now I've got to drag that there. Now we've got both of them. Now you'll notice something already is that an annotation that I had on this graph from before uh, doesn't look very good, right? It's, it's overlapping with stuff it does, because this, this, this visualization does not have as much space as it did. So if you're working for a visualization, or if you're working towards a dashboard, you might want to hold off on doing any sort of annotations until you get to the dashboard stage and you've got your graph on the dashboard, uh, because then you can size the, the annotation to the actual size that you have available to you uh, and not, uh, not make it look like this, where it's really big and weird. Uh, so let's bring in some other visualizations here. All right. So... Now what do we have? It's automatically put on all the gra all the graphs that we dragged on there. It's uh, all of the legends that we had are going to be over here on the right. Uh, we can and, and you can manipulate things as you always would, right? I, I can edit each of these uh, displays as though I was working with them individually. Uh, I can format them. I can do whatever changes that I need. Uh, I'm changing the legend here, right? I can I can do whatever sorts of access changes I want. I can get rid of the legend if I do so feel like it, right? So now you don't know exactly what this means, but hey, if you hover over, you can probably get a pretty good guess. Anyway, all the interactivity of the individual Tableau graphs is gonna, of course gonna be preserved uh, here. Uh, one thing that you can do uh, is the formatting. So if you go to format here, uh, we wanna format our dashboard. Uh, I can do formatting decisions that are going to apply to all of the graphs on this dashboard, which is probably a good idea. As I've mentioned in the last video, you want to have consistent formatting across your dashboard. Uh, and so if you're going to change the color scheme for one graph, you're probably going to want to change the color scheme and shading for all of them. Uh, so let's maybe let's just change uh, this to some weird uh, light red color. There we go. See, now it does it for everything. We've, we've sort of changed the background. Uh, individual gra graphs are going to be different a little bit. Uh, some things are going to be changed in uh, 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 tandem. So, for example, the worksheet titles. Uh, I can change the font. Let's make it really tiny for no good reason. This is a terrible idea. But I've bolded it, made them tiny, and it will change all of them at once. As you can see, I can do things like change the alignment. Uh, the individual graphs themselves, so I can still change the uh, formatting. So I can double-click on this, for example, if I want to... Uh, do whatever sort of formatting I want. Uh, if I can, I can add uh, annotating here as I could on the individual graph. Uh, like I said, I can mark this label. Um, anything that I would normally do 
right here. Uh, and that's basically it in terms of putting together your uh, your your dashboard, right? You build the dashboard, you drag the visualizations that you've already made into the place on it. Uh, you can go to format dashboard to change some of the general dashboard formatting things, things like shading, uh, the titles that are shared across uh, the different graphs. You can edit each of the individual graphs individually uh, and you can drag things around. Hi, uh, so while I was in the middle of editing this video and wearing a shirt that's very different, I noticed of course a major omission, which is that I never really described how to put in the kinds of interactivity that a dashboard might expect. Things like drop down menus to pick different kinds of data, uh, you know, like you saw in the last video. Uh, so let's talk about how to do that in Tableau. Uh, so one way you can do that is by going to the different uh, worksheets that you've had, in have in have had included in your dashboard. And you just click on one and then you can see this little funnel uh, picture right here. And what this funnel does is that uh, you can use something as a filter. Uh, and this will mean that you can filter down the observations that are included on the dashboard uh, based on the variables that are included in this visualization. Uh, so we include it as a filter. If we uh, do then a little drop down button and click go to filters, uh, we can choose from the variables that are included in this worksheet, in this visualization. I'm gonna click day of week here, and then we'll add a day of week selector to my legend area over here uh, so that you can uh, you know, click different days and it will change things. Uh, you'll notice that it's changing every, every different visualization when I do that. That is actually something that uh, I just set it to do. <laughs> uh, if you click on the down arrow here, uh, there's a bunch of different options here. Uh, you can select at this point to have it uh, go to all worksheets or which, which worksheets you want to apply to which should be off the screen for you right here. But if you go to apply to worksheets, you can say, hey, do, apply to everything, apply to just a couple of them, apply to only this one. Um, and then you can also, at this point with the drop-down menu, uh, tell it whether it is a drop-down menu itself or a, a list like we have here uh, or something else like a slider. Uh, so that's the basic idea here. You know, you go to the, a worksheet that has the variable that you want to filter on. Uh, you set it to with that worksheet to work as a filter. Use the drop down menu to pick filter and then pick the variable that you want to filter on. It will show up over here on the right. Uh, and then with the drop down menu here, uh, you can tell it whether you want it to be a drop down menu, a set of check boxes, uh, and whether you want it to apply to just that one worksheet or to all of the worksheets. All right, that's it. Sorry for omitting it from the original thing. Uh, and uh, that's it. Back to the original video. Uh, then there's the question, of course, of uh, what you're gonna do with your dashboard now that you have it. So if you go to dashboard here, uh, you can, one thing you can do is you can export image. So I can export uh, this dashboard as an image. Uh, and this will, of course, not be interactive, but I can uh, paste it somewhere and it will have all of those uh, together, uh, by, with all, all these, these images together. So if I want something static, I can do that. Other options available, you can just save the worksheet itself and pass that around to anybody who has Tableau, or if they don't have Tableau, uh, they, but they do have the Tableau reader, they can open it up and they can look at the worksheet or the, the dashboard in that way. Uh, there are also some options for storing your uh, Tableau dashboard online, for example, Tableau server or Tableau online. Uh, those do require some paid options, although in some cases, you know, you might, that would probably be paid for by your uh, university or business or something like that, uh, and you can store them there. Okay, so that's the basics of putting a, da uh, a, work a dashboard together in Tableau. Pretty simple because it's really designed to do this. It wants to make it easier for you to do this. Uh, and so it doesn't uh, make you work very hard. You just sort of do what you want. If, yeah, if you want to manipulate something that I haven't covered, you can probably just Google it uh, or just click on whatever you want to change and it will probably pop up the appropriate uh, menu for changing it. All right, that's it. Thank you.